Hey, what's up guys, Jermaine here, Monster Gadgets. Welcome to episode number 25 of Tutorial Thursdays. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are a new viewer, please consider subscribing and liking my video. If you are a return viewer and subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. So today, today's tutorial is gonna be about Adobe Premiere and how we can basically create text as well as graphics and have them move through a transition. You can do it the boring way where basically a text flows in like this or you can kind of ramp it up and where it kind of comes quickly and disappears and things like that. But I'm going to show you how to also add motion blur to it right in Adobe Premiere. So let's go ahead and dive into it after this intro. All right guys, so here we are in Adobe Premiere and I've got our uh, image we're gonna be using. So we'll do a couple things. We'll do uh, the text first and I'll show you guys how to do that and then we'll go ahead and do the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this on here. It is of, of course, the Tesla Model X. I'm gonna use this. But let me go ahead and show you how to do text first. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and basically click on the text and I'm gonna go ahead and type it in. And we're gonna make it Tesla rocks. How about that? That looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and center it. So we want this text to basically be animated. So right now, as you guys can see, when I'm playing this, it just kind of sits still. So we're gonna go ahead and do an animation. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it here. I want it to kind of sit here. And under the position, I'm gonna go ahead and create a keyframe. And you guys can see we just did that. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back and I'm gonna turn this away so it's out of frame. So now when I go to play this, it kind of looks like that. It kind of just flows in. It's kind of boring, it's okay. If you wanted to make it go faster, all you do is move this last keyframe a little bit closer, and now when you go to play this, it comes in like this, all right? So let's go ahead and delete that, because I just wanted to show you guys how that's done, and we're gonna add some motion blur to this. So under your effects panel, we're gonna start typing in uh, transform, and then you'll see a distort, and then you'll see a transform. Go ahead and click and drag that on top of your text. And then you'll see the transform pop up here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna basically create those keyframes again, uh, this time under transform, not under the other, other section. I'm gonna create one there. And I'm gonna go ahead and create one there and move this out of the way. So again, when I go to play this, that's what it looks like, but we'll go ahead and make it a little bit faster. So maybe something like that. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and add motion blur to this. So what you want to first do is you want to go ahead and click on uh, highlight those two and go down to temporal interpolation and go ahead and click on Bezier. And then when you come down here, right click on the effects and go to transform and go to position. What this will allow you to do is this will allow you to basically position and edit right within your screen here. So it'll give you these dots, go ahead and click on these dots and then you'll see like a little, um, I guess an angle or whatever you guys want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just kind of ramp it up like this. So that way it's kind of peaked and then go ahead and play this back. And now it's a little bit faster. It kind of comes in slower, but ramps up and goes up a little bit faster. So again, go ahead and play that slow, fast, slow. And now let's go ahead and add some motion blur to this. Under where it says use uh, composition, I think it says angle, if I'm mistaken. Let's make this a little bit smaller so you guys can see. Yeah, use uh, composition shutter angle. Go ahead and click off of that. And then right under where it says shutter angle, go ahead and crank this up. So it goes all the way up to 360, depending on how much blur you want to put in. It's up to you. We'll leave it maybe around 200. We'll leave it right there. So now when I go to play this, it comes and adds motion blur to it and then it comes out of it. So as it ramps up, it puts in motion blur and then it comes clear again. So that's how you do it on text. The image itself is actually no different. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna create, you're gonna select the image and you're gonna go through the same exact steps as you did with the text. And one of the cool thing I wanna show you, I'm not gonna show you guys how to do the image just because again, it's the same way that you would do the text. You can mess around with the ramp settings and you can have it come slower, come faster, or maybe come slower and ramp up and you, know, you get what I'm talking about. So 
One other cool thing that I want to do tell you about is, let's just say, for example, you've got this text. I'm going to go ahead and select it. You've got it selected here. Under transform, click on position, and it's going to give you this little dotted line. On this dotted line, you can actually play around with this, and you can move it to wherever you want, really. So let's just say you wanted to come up here and then kind of come down. You can do that. All you do is go back to the beginning, play it, come down, and look at that. Now it's just doing this weird thing. Can you guys do that? I'm joking. So depending on how you want it to come in, you can play around with these settings and you can set different points. So you know, let's just say here, maybe I wanted to come a little bit back this way. So now it, it's going to create that for me. Now when I go back and play it, it's going to go up, down, up, down, and around the car. So I think it's pretty cool. There's endless capabilities with this, depending on what you're doing for your project, how you want to use it. You can have it going around an object, you can kind of have it really do whatever you want. Instead of it just kind of coming in slowly, it's boring. So play around with it, see what works for you. Hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.